Welcome back. Well, two legends in their 70s are showing us all that it's never too late to pursue your dreams, even if your dream is a successful rapping career. You heard that right. <laughs> Pete and Baz have turned their love of UK rap into a career. They're pretty good. They are the unlikely duo taking the UK rap scene by storm. Okay, my saw I conquered, waking up in my Gucci boxes. Couple of jabs with the ones who bang, I'll knock your block off. Despite being in their 70s, Pete and Bass are just getting started. The retired granddads were first introduced to rap music from their grandkids and immediately fell in love with the genre that spawned global stars like Stormzy. They released their first song, Shut Your Mouth, in 2018, and views started racking up. Yo, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Since then, they've never looked back, fronting sold-out shows all over the UK. Chicken and chicks yes. in a box is lyrics we can all get around. Absolutely. Baz <laughs> joins us live from London. Good morning to you. How you doing there, boys? Nice to hear from you. <laughs> Baz, can I just say, we've just been watching some of the video clips that you have been putting together and they are amazing. What spawned this late career change? Well, we had such a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> I mean, this is really great, isn't it? Just fantastic fun. And I see old Stormzy there, you know, old Stormzy. Yes. He's, he's taken to us so much. He's taken to us so much. He's moved <laughs> into my area. He's actually my neighbour of mine now. <laughs> yeah. I hope he's got his blinds drawn then, Baz. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no need for a shirt there today, Baz. It's midnight. Yeah, but, uh, sorry. Uh, it's, it's late here. It's, it's one o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. I don't normally get up this late, but some of our shows are pretty late, you know. We, we sometimes go on about one o'clock in the morning, like with Glastonbury in two weeks' time. We started at one o'clock. Uh, this is after Elton John. Uh, where, who else? We've got Guns N' Roses at 12 o'clock, and then we're on at one o'clock. What? So you've got Elton John and Guns N' Roses as your warm-up acts. <laughs> uh, when did you start to see the reaction know, change said, to I your said, music? Well, I, I said we wanted somebody younger, really, but anyway, <laughs> they're good lads, so that'd be all. <laughs> oh, No, I mean, Baz, sorry, we're just um, getting over the fact that you're not wearing a shirt, <laughs> which is rather entertaining. We know what's in bed, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's true, it's true. Now, but tell us about when you started to gain some traction here. Did you see there was a bit of a market for, for rappers in their 70s? Uh, well, to be quite honest, we're a little bit surprised, really. I mean, we did make it thinking that it would be popular because we started doing stuff that was, you know, popular because I always played music that people like, see? Oh, hello. And oh, well, is that so old Pete? Look at that. He's, he's such a dress at this point. He says, hello, Pete, good morning, how you keeping, all right? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, mate. Sorry, apologies for this. Oh. I don't know what oh, Pete's, going on. Oh, Pete's joined us now. Pete, welcome <laughs> to the party, the mate. No, it is good. Pete, it's yeah, just it you, Baz, in all of Australia. Australia. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the beauty yeah, of live television, everybody. Uh, Pete, are you <laughs> dressed? <laughs> He's looking good, isn't he? He's looking good. He's looking very good. You've got a yeah, shirt on, yeah. Pete. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll forgive you this time round. <laughs> uh, gents, you, you write some of your lyrics, but also you get some great inspiration mm. from your grandsons. They help in a special way. Pete, tell us about that. Oh, right, our friends are helping in a special way. Well, what it is, it's simple, simple is uh, we're two old guys and slang changes. Yeah. You know, in course of time, slang changes. Like, you've got words in your... Your vocabulary, like uh, Cobber and um, Ripper and things like that. You know, sometimes change, things change, and um, mm. our grandson maybe will say to his granddad, "Don't use that. Try this." Well, in lingo, <laughs> sort of, in lingo, sort of both of that. you would know, yeah. and, and we all yeah. know in Australia still, a pair of dishes, the pair of you. And we appreciate <laughs> you coming on our program at yeah. after after midnight. Uh, shirts, no shirts, chains, no chains. We'll take you how you come. <laughs> we look forward to having you in Australia for a, uh, a tour down here shortly. <laughs> we just Please get us as soon as you can. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there. You just tell us. Yeah, no, buy All some right. clothes then. 
<laughs> we'll, provide, we'll provide some tans, for you. The tan's working. That's the good news. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tropical, tropical badge. All right, right? thanks, right. Coppers. Appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, guys. And apologies for being so bloody tardy or late. <laughs> it's OK. You're welcome any time well, in thanks. any shape. It's thanks, all good. Thanks, guys. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?